OWC Pharmaceutical Research is one of the most interesting stocks in the market right now and I kind of want to go over why a lot of people lost money on it and why it's tanking so much over the past few weeks. I mean, over the past week, this stock has lost about 54% of its value and that's a lot. But over the last few months, if you bought the stock, you know, at 10 cents, you, were, you could have made a ton of money. You could have made 26, 30 times your initial investment if you held it for long enough and if you sold it at the peak. The stock peaked at about $3.20. But anyways, I want to talk about why people lost a lot of money and a lot of people did lose a lot of money because the majority of the volume that was going around was around this area where the stock is doing some serious spiking, you know, going up 300% over the course of two weeks. Uh, but anyways, so pharmaceutical companies, medical marijuana pharmaceutical companies, they're worth a lot of money because the medicine that they're producing right now has a lot of potential. And this company is doing the same thing. But when when this hype started going, you know, when this ridiculous, ridiculous choo-choo train started going, a lot of people believe that this company would be the next big thing. And I'm not saying that it's not going to be the next big thing, but you have to consider the time the time frames and the time scales uh, in which things are going to be happening here. So this company currently has two products on the market right now. Neither one of them is very commercially successful and neither one of them seems to going to make any significant amount of money, uh, um, any significant amounts of money in the future. So they don't have a very good source of income. They also haven't really began doing any sort of medical, well they have started medical research but it's not very far underway. Uh, in other words, they're still at the beginning stages of doing everything. They have filed for eight patents. However, that's still going to take a while and it's going to take this company a while to get to the to the clinical stages, to test everything and to actually release uh, viable medicines in the next few years and I mean currently this company is worth about 150 million when it was at about two dollars seventy cents it was worth 300 400 million roughly at you know in that range and for that range you could buy stock of other pharmaceutical companies that currently already have some somewhat successful products on the market plus they're developing things that are going to be out in the next year or two uh, with FDA approval and full clinical trials done in the next year or two. So if you just compare that, it doesn't make a lot of sense why a, a pharmaceutical company such as this would be worth the same as the other pharmaceutical companies who have a lot more going on and they're actually going to be showing results fairly soon. So this stock was obviously overpriced and a lot of people were pointing that out on Reddit and such. Uh, but you know, people still bought it. A lot of people tried day trading this. And if you tried day trading this in the past week, you would have lost money almost guaranteed. There, there were some small windows where you probably could have made something. But I mean, you would have lost a lot of money. And just a, as a general rule of, rule of thumb, if a stock has gone up, you know, 300% in the course of 10 days, don't buy it. It's not a very good idea. Especially if you have a company that currently is not doing too much and it's worth about three or four hundred million that doesn't seem very sustainable so it's a this is an interesting company and I really want to see what happens to it because it has one of the most ridiculous gains that I've ever seen a stock happen and you know the company is actually worth a good amount of money but it's just it's been heavily overvalued in the last last period of days so uh, I would not advise anybody to really buy this right now if you're gonna hold it for a long time then you probably should wait a little bit longer until the volume starts going down a little bit and it kind of settles down at its uh, fair price, which is going to be decided in the next few weeks, I think. Um, but yeah, interesting company, but a lot of people, I think, overestimated the potential of it. And oh yeah, also I forgot to mention, the way that this company is going to fund a lot of their research is they're going to dilute their stock. And that's going to cause it to go down. So in the next year or two, while they're going to be doing that research, since they have no real source of income, they're going to be issuing common stock. And that's not very good if you want if you want to gain a lot of value for your stock. So just something else to consider. So at, at about three or four hundred million, this company is obviously overvalued. There's no reason why you should have bought this company over any of the other companies who are actually doing stuff and you know who are in phase two or phase three. Uh, clinical phases for some of their medications. Anyways, that's all that I really wanted to say. 
I'm going to keep watching the stock. It is one of the most interesting stocks that I've, that I'm currently looking at. And, uh, we'll see how it does.